Effie, congratulations. Thanks very much. Cork are back in an All-Ireland final. Yeah, absolutely thrilled. Um, I suppose last year was disappointing. We, you know, we lost a close semi-final and um, like we, we were determined this year that we, we go one step further and, and we're here now, so we're absolutely delighted. You know, you said you lost a close semi-final last year, but I suppose Cork were in a kind of a, a rebuilding phase last year and maybe in the last couple of years. But, you know, that young team out there today really showed some great spirit, you know, they were playing yeah. against a blanket defence and the way they closed out the game today, yeah. when when, Car- when Donegal looked like they may be getting back into it. Yeah, they did, in fairness, and it was frustrating, I suppose, for us at times because our half hour line had to track back, you know, when they broke and, like, when we arrived in the other end, like, it was a very warm day as well. So, you know, getting up and down the field on a kind of consistent basis was, was difficult. But I think once we kept it open, um, you know, once we worked the channels, I think we, we were more successful and, you know, we did the two goals, I suppose, were, were probably the difference at the end of the day. But I thought all through we were, I won't say we were comfortable, but I thought we were the better team in the sense that we were, you know, we always had a lead and they never looked like really taking it off us. You know, and I must compliment our backs, you know, we were under a lot of pressure. I think, you know, people were saying to me that, you know, the Donegal, they had a much vaunted forward line, which they do have, but I thought our girls did exceptionally well today. And you consider, you know, the talent that Charlie McLaughlin has and, and Yvonne Bonner and and, and, and Dan Guthrie and these girls. Are. And if you, is that something you would plan for coming into today, you know, facing that, that defensive game from, from Donegal? Is that something you've looked at over the last couple of weeks? Well, Donegal haven't, haven't been playing like that, but I, uh, I suspected they might. I mean, they've been shipping a lot of scores, you know, a lot of goals. I mean, they're lethal going forward, but then if you let, you know, if you go one-on-one maybe with us, it's, it's not the best move in the sense that... Um, our girls are very good individual footballers. So, um, but you know you have to face every every challenge. Like we do work in, in training on mass defence. Lots of teams play that way against us anyway. So, but the most important thing is patience. You know, spreading the ball and like. I stress to the girls that I have time there, like we were four points up or whatever, like they, if they were going to win the game they had to come at us, so um, so I think we were a little bit more patient in the second half and um, I suppose I was delighted to see Saoirse Newman's goal going in, to be honest about it, that was, the, that was probably the, the icing on the cake, but I never felt, to be honest, I never felt that we were, we were going to lose the game, but you never know when, when you have the likes of, as I say, Jolie McLaughlin and, and Yvonne Banner up the other end. It's hard to do it. Um, you're looking forward now to an All Ireland final. Uh, yeah. Your plans now for the next couple of weeks? I know you have a couple of dual stars there, and, and yeah, and we so have. We'll so have club what's, matches what's in Cork this week now, so um, they'll all go back to the clubs for a week. Um, we'll enjoy tonight. Uh, the girls let their hair down a bit for, for for tonight. And Hannah, you know their their game comes first, so we'll probably do one training session. They'll, they'll train with the Camogie this week, I'd imagine, and then one night next week with us and one night with the Camogie. Oh. So, uh, I suppose Cork on another level. I suppose Cork are looking to top that roll of honour in the in the uh, see, in the well, ladies senior championship. You well, know, and it's a it's a big carrot there. For, take yeah, over. From I don't Kerry. think. To be honest, I don't <laughs> think you know we never we never talk about things like that. Like we're we've lost I think since I came in. We've lost ten. I mean, if you lose, Breed Stack, Rena Buckley, you know, Breed Cockery, Deirdre O'Reilly, Vera Foley. The list goes on and on and on. When you lose those type of players, it's. It's um, it's testament to the, to the work that the girls come in. I think we're blessed in Cork. You know, there's a good Andrea structure. Like John Cleary has done a great job with the with the minors, and they're all used to winning all Irelands. You know, and I think with you know we have some exceptional players coming through. You know, Sir Noonan will be an exceptional footballer. Yeah, she's exceptional at everything she does, really. To be honest with you, and she's a very humble girl. You know, so but there's always a liability that or, or a chance that she she get a goal when she's out there. You know. But that, like I like him to play with freedom, like Emer Scally today, you know, I thought as well worked so so hard. I mean, at times they were facing three, four, four defenders, and they kept at it and at it and at it. So, um, and as I say, it's difficult. Like like we're a free flowing team really, and it was difficult. I suppose the only positive was that we were able to win our own kick out easy, and if you give us the ball in that sense, you know, we're we're quite good at it most of the time. So.